Hey everyone, it's your boy here, Big Bad Daddy Bardock, and I'm back with another reaction video. So, you were all asking me and asking me and asking me for this, and so, I am here to deliver. Now, just as a disclosure, I'm not a fan of Death Battle. I've never really been a big fan of Death Battle. I don't like the way they do things. I don't like power scaling. I think it's absolute bullshit. You know, you're gonna put the world's strongest man, Eddie Hall, against Mike Tyson in his prime in a ring to fight. Eddie Hall is a hundred times stronger than Mike Tyson, but he's not gonna beat him in a fight, is he? Come on, let's be real. This is why I hate power scaling. Um, I never agree with what the death battle say and all their stuff, and they've got a little bit of a bias against Dragon Ball characters in general. But you all wanted it, so I'm gonna suffer for you guys. Well, I'm not really gonna suffer, but you know. Anyway, let's dive right into it, shall we? Okay, here we go. Omni-Man vs. Bardock by Death Battle. This battle is sponsored by Manscaped. Hey, who's that handsome devil? Omni-Man vs. Bardock. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I do like Invincible, and I do like Omni-Man, especially because it's J.K. Simmons, being J.K. Simmons. But, um, you want my prediction? Um, if I know Death Battle, they're gonna give it to Omni-Man. Even though I could give you every argument under the sun why I would totally kick his ass. I would kick that guy's ass from here to Timbuktu. But, you know, let's see how they... How they go for it. Yet it was all a charade. With his murderous rampage only brought to a halt thanks to his own. You gotta love that mustache though. With his home planet, you notice that all the Viltrumites have mustaches, like all the male ones. Mortal, mortal With a cane. Or, wait, no. Very um proper. You gotta love the mustache. Height 62. 188, age 2,000 years. So he's definitely got wisdom on his side, 2,000 years old. Well, he's just basically Superman. He's villain Superman, come on. Let's not beat around the bush. I mean, obviously that's what Invincible's all about. It's like a parody on superhero tropes. It is worth giving a watch. If you haven't seen Invincible or read the comics, definitely give the comics a read and give it a watch. You won't be disappointed. Yeah, this is why I'm never having kids. You're missing out. But according to another Viltrumite, Thetis, a bunch of other Viltrumites who actually were in a hurry flew to Viltrum across the Virgo supercluster in less than 24 hours. That's over 20 billion times faster than light. You don't really need to rush anyway. The older a Viltrumite gets, the slower they age. According to the invisible. The older a Viltrumite gets, the slower he ages. Okay. Regardless of age, Viltrumites don't suffer muscle fatigue like humans do. So they rarely ever tire out. Seriously? He's got parenting easy mode on, and he couldn't even handle that. I would have killed for that back when my daughter was born. I've seen, like, Omni-Man get his ass kicked. He's, he's not invincible. Smart atoms, which they subconsciously manipulate. This cellular structure can effectively recall certain states of being regardless of Smart atoms. What is that, like a smartphone? Smart water? Smart watches? Just putting the word smart in front of something doesn't mean it's awesome. Come on. That's that's a real tie trope. Nolan is incredibly tough, but if he faces superior forces, his smart atoms can adjust to make him even stronger by comparison. This is why Viltrumites are considered in Ha ha ha. Very clever. Even a ship's cannon like this one can't take down a Viltrumite, and it obliterated a massive solar disk nearly half the size of a star. Only half the size? Ooh, I don't know about that. 
explain it's so big it has a whole ring around it the roche limit factor dictates the size a celestial body must be in order to disperse orbiting material as oh yeah don't don't pretend like you've actually done the mathematics on this don't pretend come on isn't doing it for you this planet also supports five moons in its orbit and even the smallest is a perfect sphere meaning its own gravity shaped it at minimum a moon like that must have a diameter of 600 kilometers or 370 miles comparing this to the planet's diameter we can tell this world is nearly 14 times larger than earth or it was before you know Kablam. Now, Omni-Man does have his weaknesses. Monsters like Rognars can pierce Viltrumite flesh, and he's extremely sensitive to a specific high-pitched frequency, which can destabilize his body's equilibrium. But his real There's a whole bunch of things that Viltrumites are weak against. Like, it's in the series. Like, things that Viltrumites are weak against. They didn't mention that one, did they? Omni-Man? How? Omni-Man? Hey, everyone deals with parenting stress in their own way. He got freaky with an insect. Mark about how insignificant people are. Mark wasn't the only one he was trying to convince, if you catch my drift. Nolan Grayson's I think I miss my wife. I do love Omni-Man's mustache, though. Like, that's a real good mustache. Can also be a good father. Godspeed, Omni-Man. Come on, get on to me. Let's hear about me. In the far reach Here we go. Slayed a world with a people like no other. Born and raised to do just one thing. Fight. The Saiyans. Yeah, that's us. The Saiyans. Ruled by the King Vegeta. Well, narcissist punch. Exactly. Yeah. He is very narcissistic. Your point being. Perhaps one Saiyan represented the best of them. Even during their waning glory. Yeah. Bardock, he's cool. He's crude. He's got a bad attitude. You're damn right. Goes ape shit. You're totally you're Damn right. And, and guess what? He's father of Goku. Oh, Goku and heard. Raditz. Don't forget Raditz. What a curveball. So what does that make Turles? Who? <clears throat> Bardock was a cold-blooded killer. Ruth I wasn't cold-blooded. Just it was my job. It was kill or be killed. It was survival. We didn't go kick the planets. Freezer would kill us. We were slaves. Don't forget that. Bardock's story has evolved over the years, with multiple iterations to draw from, including one where he's a brilliant scientist. Yeah, better scientist than you guys. Ha! <laughs> I'm not really a scientist. Kine! There's my wife. Yeah. It's stained with the blood of his father. It sure is. Bardock could fly, move faster than light, and was naturally adept in using his key as an explosive. Little fact about that band. That was actually Tora's band. And then it was soaked in his blood, so I wrapped it around my head. Yeah, you're damn right it's a bazooka. To the face. Wait, they've only got Super Saiyan? Well, you didn't do your research. I can go Super Saiyan 3 and Super Saiyan 4. They really didn't do their homework on this one, did they? I don't know, I... I did have a bit of a feeling for my children. Like, I saved Granola and Muesli because they reminded me of my wife and child. There was definitely some empathy there. Do the monkey with me, come on. <laughs> Alright, I like that. I remember everything. Don't you remember the episode? I remember everything from when I transform. Boom. 
Despite being low class, Bardock's power level nearly matched that of King Vegeta, who could destroy multiple planets at Boom. Once. At about this time, King Vegeta's power level was around 10,000. Yeah, we know power levels are kind of janky. Nobody can agree on what the number really means. Outside of his fight with gas, Bardock doesn't really show any high-end feats in canon. But we can use power levels to compare him to other characters. So you're saying, like, you're saying, oh, in canon, in canon. Dragon Ball, everything is canon. Even, like, the spin-off stuff is considered, like, there is no actual canon canon. But if you want the main continuity, you've got Super Saiyan, but I didn't go Super Saiyan in the main continuity. So if you're gonna use Super Saiyan, why don't you use Super Saiyan 4? But I went in Heroes. So you're contradicting yourselves already. <laughs> you guys really didn't do your work on this one. But this gives us a clear window. Yeah, early in the trip, he had to dodge a bunch of incoming asteroids and blast his ship away from a star. Yeah, but you're considering the anime, but not the... Oh, for crying out loud. I knew this was going to make me angry. This is why I don't watch Death Battle, people, because I knew it was going to make me angry. But the, the thing is, these guys are really clever. They do this on purpose, you see, because controversy creates cash. They know that this is going to get people riled up. So that when people get riled up, they anger share, they anger spread. And it creates more publicity. So, you know, hats off to these guys. They, they've got a winning formula. Until he found two survivors, a mother and her child. Some may call it weakness, others a moment of clarity. But Bardock was suddenly reminded of his wife. Exactly, that's what I said earlier. He chose to spare the two, and even pushed himself far past his limits to protect them from his own Frieza Force allies, who taunted that Frieza had dire plans for the Saiyan's future. This moment changed Bardock, making him more appreciative of his family and cautious of Frieza. When all the Saiyans were called back to planet Vegeta for mysterious reasons, he had a hunch something was up. So before his final stand, smashing through hundreds of soldiers before coming face to face with the tyrant, he sent his youngest kid away for protection. A choice that allowed his son to thrive. And become the strongest in the universe, don't forget. A choice that would have a greater significance than Bardock could ever imagine. And then Dildo Dick Dildo. <laughs> oh, I don't give you that one. Did he? Bardock got killed so freaking hard he got blasted back in time. Actually, he was pulled away by these two who... Uh, wrong. Wrong. I got pulled out of that timeline by Toa and Mira later on. It was originally Kronoa, or theorized it was Kronoa, that pulled uh, me back through time. So, uh, you got that wrong. It requires dedication, introspection, victory, failure, love, and loss. Frieza destroyed the Saiyans because he feared the possibility of the Super Saiyan, a Saiyan with power that could rival his own. But perhaps Bardock's transformation was more than simply a what if. He had begun to take the very steps his son later would to achieve the form. Perhaps if Frieza had hesitated, even for a moment, his fear would have manifested before him right then and there. Damn, pour one out for Bardock, who figured out how to be the truest Saiyan right at the end of Exactly. I was the only one to fight Frieza at the end. I was the only one to stand up to him. Not even the king stood up to him. Everybody cowed before him. But I fought him alone, like a true Saiyan warrior. I went out with true Saiyan pride. I'm not interested in manscaped rubbish. Get on with the fight. Homer! All in favor of skipping the poem? Thank you. All right, here we go. Let's get on with the battle. All right, the combatants are set. Can we run the data through all... You did not access and process all the data. You've missed out so much on both sides. Here I come. Here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. Hello there. Great. Another gross bug plant. Ooh, that was a close one. This planet isn't anyone's to conquer. Don't underestimate me. Here I go. Hey, I like the music. To be honest, I do like Omni-Man, and I, I think me and Omni-Man would have a great fight. Just like my son, his nose in 
Damn right my son would kick his ass. Both my sons. <laughs> he just used my part as a... Ooh, come on Bardock, up you get. Up and at him. Oh. Whatever you are, you're an embarrassment. Uh oh. Full moon. Wait till you see the real power of a Saiyan. Have fun, Omni Man. No more monkeying around. Boom. Ali up. To be fair though, Omni Man has fought massive kaiju monsters before. You know, he'll be alright against me in a great ape, but. I mean, let's be honest. If, if we're talking. If we're talking continuity, like, we wrote down continuity. I'm sorry. But, Omni Man, I've got the victory on this one. Hey, that's my tail! Bastard just ripped off my tail. Shit. Oh, we're fighting in space. No. Come on, Bardock. Haha! <laughs> Super Saiyajin. How's that, Omni Man? Doom. Whoever's voice in Omni-Man has nailed it. Like, the VA who's doing Omni-Man, kudos to you, my friend. You have nailed it. You said... Saiyan. Remember it. So they didn't include any of the power-ups that I had in the manga. Nope. All the other Saiyan transformations. No. Rigged. Rigged. <laughs> Rigged. Among the many similarities, five specific categories stand out. Starting with speed. Bardock is much faster given his power level matched Goku dodging asteroids at 9.5 trillion times light speed. Much higher than the Viltrumite's fastest speed. Add on the 50 times multiplayer from Super Saiyan... Well, oh, there you go. Look how much... Look at the gap. Bardock clearly has the speed advantage, but strength and durability are another story. Though it doesn't seem like it at first, Bardock scales to King Veggie, who wrecked three planets at once, and Omni-Man only smashed one. But given how big that one planet was, the numbers are actually pretty similar. Until we factor in the Super Saiyan boost, right? Well, there's a catch. A major plot That's the thing. You don't. <laughs> Sorry, I know that quote. Cannot hurt Viltrumites. So, when their ship's cannon obliterated this gigantic solar disk, it highlighted just how tough the Viltrumites really are. This disk completely Yeah, I'll give it. The Viltrumites are tough, but no, like you you you're literally contradicting yourselves. You've literally said that oh, why am I arguing? I know why they're doing it. I know why they're doing it. Don't pretend like you did the math. Don't pretend. Which makes Omni Man over eleven thousand times stronger than Bullshit. Bullshit. Sorry, my British site's gonna come out on this one. Bollocks. 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 Absolute 
bollocks. <laughs> And all the other forms, and other moves I can do. fair to question whether or not the form should be in this comparison at all. However, even with the form included, Nolan still takes this, especially when it comes to our last two categories, experience and skill. Yeah, I'll give experience to Omni-Man. He's 2,000 years old. Yeah, I'll give him that. Even with Super Saiyan, Bardock's no master of the form. And without that mastery, the form drains the user's energies at an increased rate. Which brings us to what may be Omni-Man's most surprising advantage. Those weird smart atoms. Saiyans like Bardock can fight for days on end, but only for so long. Bardock possesses a limited pool of ki, which only depletes faster when using super forms like the Great Eight. In contrast, Omni-Man's biology prevents him from tiring in most cases, letting him travel across whole galaxies for weeks non-stop. And his smart atoms adjust the- Smart atoms. Who came up with that one? Nolan's strength, experience, and sheer endurance presented an unstoppable and unshakable force that would inevitably land the killing blow. When push came to shove, Omni-Man raised the bar, Duck. The oh, ha, ha. Next time on Death Battle. Oh, Persona. Who you got? Joker against... Giorno. Okay. Okay. Subscribe and join as a member to see more Death Battle. Thanks for watching. And I guess that's the end of the video. Um, so I, I knew, I knew they were going to give it to Omni-Man. You know, it's Death Battle. They don't like Dragon Ball characters. And people will argue, oh, they do, they do. They don't. <laughs> like, we've seen the uh, Goku versus Superman. But, um, to be fair, like, they made some interesting points for Omni-Man. Like, I'm not one of these guys that's going to go, oh, no, you know, Omni-Man's just going to get obliterated, blah, blah, blah. Because Omni-Man's pretty badass. Like, if you've read Invincible, he is badass. But, come on, it's me. <laughs> He's not gonna beat me, let's be honest. But, uh, again, it's fiction, guys. You know, it's a work of fiction. I could write a fiction right now as uh, Superman versus the farmer that Raditz fought, and the farmer would win because reasons. It's all fiction. You know, so when you start your power scaling and this and that, it's fiction, guys. It's fiction. It's whatever the writer wants it to be. But, um... I mean, uh, I enjoyed it either way, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to win. But, um, I will say this. Devil Artemis, chef's kiss. Mwah. You nailed the animation, my friend. Absolute chef's kiss on that. Um, so congratulations on your comeback, guys. You know, I'm roasting you a little bit, but it's all in good fun. Um... I think you guys did a pretty good video. Obviously, I should have won. You know, it's all about me. I should have won because I'm badass. But um, I enjoyed it either way. Come on, you know it's it's all for fun. Don't take this too seriously, guys. It's 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 entertainment, baby. <laughs> uh, anyway, if you enjoyed this reaction and would like to see more, give that like button a little. Also, smash that subscribe button. Smash it with all your might. If you want that Zenkai boost, then give it a smash. Oh, wait. Did you hit it? Well, why not? Also, if you want to be notified, give that notification bell a little ring-a-ding-ding, dingling chicken wing. And for exclusives, head on over to our Patreon page. Anyway, as he said, um, I was very lovey-dovey with my wife, Gine. And I feel like I could get a little bit of lovey-dovey with her now. So, uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Bardock out. Also, check out our brand new merch line. Link in the description, or head on over to our homepage. He looks just like you though, don't you think? He certainly has a